What is up, comic fam? And I hope everyone had a very happy holidays. We're kicking this uh, week off right with a CBCS unboxing signed CBCS, and uh, I'm very excited for them. This is from the Jason David Frank signing event I went to. But before I show you what I've got, check this out. <music> Big shout out to Big Time Collectibles. They are the sponsor of the monthly Legion Loot giveaway for the channel members. If you're interested in entering that drawing, just hit the join button down below. And also to Justin's Comics, if you need anything cleaned or pressed, be sure to hit him up. $10 a book, he can take care of you. He can directly submit to CGC and CBCS for you. Use that promo code, We Are Legion, and get a buy two, get one free special we have running. All right, guys, so as people who follow the channel know, and also, I'll definitely leave a link for it in the description of this video. Uh, about two months ago, I think it was two months ago. I forget the exact date, but Jason David Frank came here to Augusta, Georgia, to a local shop called Top Dog Comics and did a signing event, which was awesome. It was uh, like meeting my childhood hero. It was fantastic. So, of course, I have countless Power Ranger books that I wanted to get signed, but I kind of narrowed it down to just uh, three of them because it's not a cheap thing to have him sign your stuff it's like i think it was like 50 dollars an autograph or something like that or 40 dollars an autograph well, needless to say i spent well over 300 dollars at the whole event from uh, getting three books signed to getting a picture with him had the whole thing recorded thank you to uh, the guy who was working the event who i i know who puts on the local comic-con here in augusta the augusta toy and comic show the joe fest he uh, recorded the whole thing for me and uh, it was a blast. So I did do a video on getting to the event, getting the book signed. And uh, me and my wife and the kids even made it on the local news when they came and uh, filmed for the event. It was just a great time. So the shop, Top Dog Comics, are official CBCS uh, facilitators. The owner of the shop is an official witness for CBCS. So uh, I'm, and as you know from my channel, I don't have any problem with CGC or CBCS. Uh, I, I, I own both. And uh, see that beautiful Nikki nine and a half CBCS slab there. But uh, so I sent them off directly through CBCS. There wasn't a CGC option. And I got them back a couple of days ago. So I'm excited. I know the grades. Uh, I picked them up from the shop. But uh, man, I, I am so, so beside myself excited. They were exactly the grades that I guessed them to be. And we're going to start with... I guess what would be would have been the highest value book. Or I, don't, I don't know. I haven't checked the value on it, to be honest with you. But this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number zero, the Goni Montez ratio variant. This is a one in 100. Aww. And it is that White Ranger helmet. And this one did come back a 9.6. I was expecting that. Uh, I've got three copies of this. This is my second one to be slabbed. The best looking copy that I had, I had already sent to CBCS. And in one of my earliest videos on here, I uh, got that one back in 9.8. So that one's crisp and clean. And I pick these books up every time I come across them for a deal. I think I paid like uh, 30 or 40 bucks for this copy, which is super cheap. They're not cheap books to get even raw. But uh, I did not have them cleaned or pressed. And to be honest with you, had I did, it probably would have came back that 9.8 because it looks like, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but just that little ding in the corner right there. See the little foxing on it or whatever it's called. But it is raised a little bit. I guess I could always scan the uh, the barcode and see exactly what they counted off for. But there's zero spine ticks on it. Zero. So it would have to be that corner. But it's still a phenomenal grade. And as you see, he signed it. Jason, David, Frank, Tommy, and then something. Uh, I think it says the white and scribble. Yeah, it's pretty funny because CBCS, all the grading companies probably deal enough with them that it, they know what it says. So it says... Jason David Frank and Tommy the White Ranger. And as you see, it says witnessed signatures. And we'll we'll probably talk on that just briefly before we leave. That now they have the witnessed and the verified, the differences in those. So next up, oh no, what am I doing? I'm hitting buttons. So next up is the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue zero. So this is the first one of these for me to get slabbed up. And this is the 1 in 50 ratio variant. This is my favorite Goni Montez variant. 
and this is the uh, Green Ranger one. And that one in 15, it came back a 9.8. And as you see down here, he wrote Jason, David, Frank, Tommy. So every one of them he signed slightly different. And uh, of course, with the label, witness signature, Jason, David, Frank. Man, I'm sorry, I can't get this camera to do its thing. But yeah, just Tommy on there. So I've got like a, I've got a bunch of Power Rangers slides. But this is the first one of these Green Rangers to get signed. And a lot of people, and I don't know why they do it. It makes zero sense to me. They get it signed in the visor, in the visor. But if you look, his Dragon Zord is in the reflection of the visor. It's like a huge piece of these books. They, Donnie Montez did a ton of these, uh, these helmet variants. And like in the White Ranger, he's got his White Tiger Zord in there. He did one of Rita Repulsa holding the Green Ranger helmet. Rita created the Green Ranger. So in the reflection of the visor, you actually see a maskless Tommy in the reflection like he's getting the helmet for the first time. So I don't, I'm not a fan of getting these visors signed. You know, the trade dress is in the bottom corner. So I've, I put window boxes on them and made sure he signed it in the opposite corner, giving me some symmetry to these covers and keeping all that beautiful art that Tony Montez did. So uh, next up, this is literally my favorite Power Ranger cover that I've ever seen. I'm a, I'm a huge Green Ranger fan. Tommy Oliver has always been that dude for me. And uh, take that how you want. Come on, I'm, however you're going to take it, yeah, you're right. Like he, He's the dude. He's the man. But this is a cover by Felipe Massafera. M-A-S-S-A-F-E-R-A. -S 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 Massafera. Art, Tony Silas and Corin Halasori, Kyle Higgins. And this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number five. And this one is the fanboyfilmfestival.com exclusive. So I do not see a lot of these out there. I think when he did the in-house signing event at CGC during COVID, that uh, I watched that event that they filmed it when they the portion they did live. And I think I only saw one of these go through his hands. And he signed this one perfectly, being that it was my favorite cover, Jason David Frank, Tommy Green Ranger. And look at this beauty. Holy biscuits. Look at that. That is just phenomenal. You have him standing there in his classic attire from like the show. And you have both Rangers there and just man, that is just gorgeous art. I mean, they crushed it. He's got the mullet, which is like, I mean, it's I mean it's cool. And it's got that awesome fanboyfilmfestival.com back on it and everything. I have no clue what that is, you know. When the fanboy film festival is a place for you. Do you love films? So I don't, I don't know. But man, that is this it 9.8. Like I was so happy with that. But that made my day. Made my day. And uh the 9.6, it is what it is. It's still a massively valuable Power Ranger book. It's not like a $350 one, but it's well over $150. I definitely remember that. But uh man, that was that was so awesome. It was such a great experience. And uh, I'll try to throw the video at the tail end of this one so you can click on it simply. But I guess I'll show you this real quick, how all of these at the front of it, it says witnessed signature. This is what the other ones look like. Cause I did, I do have uh, some that I bought, got signed this one by Alex Ross. It says verified signature. So if you're shopping CBCS slabs online and if you want to know that, just look close at those pictures, ask questions from sellers and uh, just look to see if it says verified or witness, but either way you get that, that awesome yellow label, you know? So uh, I do like the CBCS labels better than the C, uh, I mean the CGC labels better than the CBCS. The, uh, the color on these are kind of, I mean, they're yellow for sure, but they're kind of, I don't know. They're, they just don't really, uh, they're not as attractive, you know, like the, they would put white boxes, even that would be great. It would balance off their, their, their logo is amazing. The holofoil logos that they do. I mean, it's just, their slabs are, I'm cranking down on that. It's not budging. Their slabs are awesome. They're, they're great. Definitely great. Good stuff, man. Good, good, good stuff. I'm very excited. Let me know in the comments. I mean, I know not everybody's Power Ranger fanboys, but let me know in the comments, which one of these covers were your favorite? Was it that Fanboy Film Festival? Was it one of the Goni Montez helmet variants? I mean, dude, they're awesome. Every, every single one of these were fantastic. And to get... Those two in those yellow labels were, were absolutely great. And I, and I still still got that 9.8. This one I have to get reholdered. This one actually took a very, very tall fall thanks to some recklessness. And you can see it has a 
straight crack on the outer well right there. But still, this was uh, from my, I think this was from my first submission to CBCS. So, and then I've got raw ones still, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited to have gotten them just beside myself. Be sure to watch that signing event video. It, it was a blast. It was really cool. But until next time, guys, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.